I'm always impressed in our Friday meetings with fighters who have big personalities. I had not previously met and spoken to a later Alvarez. He was impressive. He's a very bright guy, very exceptionally aware of everything around him, has a ready smile. On that, you say Bivol, I say Kovalev. Kovalev, when you look at it, a heavy-handed guy is good, but a quick left is that he doesn't have shocking left hooks. He has a good right hand. It's between the right hand and the left hook, and now the left hook is the money weapon. He wants to land the big one. Oh, good shot by Alvarez. That hurt Kovalev. That the Kovalev walked through, but it was really accurate. There was another one. That hurts the worst is the one you don't see. Like that one right there, how you land it. Quick hands from Alvarez on the inside. And good defense. I don't like Kovalev's look right now, Max. If he comes undone, then all the blame he put on John David Jackson. Battle, and it would pose some questions for both Kovalev and Tosan Pilato. In the meantime, Kovalev is usually a very confident fighter, you know, an arrogant fighter even before his fights in the meetings with us. And usually doesn't really worry about the opponent, no matter who it is. But before this fight, he was very respectful of Alvarez. Recognizing the out. Another good jab by Alvarez. Early on of being up inside of Kovalev's power or back away from it. Creating a distance that makes it difficult for Kovalev to land the kind. Except like maybe that. against John Pascal. Like that. He did that against Pascal in both fights and it served him very well. And not as much as he's doing tonight, Jim. He's making a comparison. Good jab by Alvarez. Making it an ugly fight. Good shot by Kovalev. Right now. Interesting. But I agree with Harold. They're competitive rounds, but I like... I think Alvarez is most... It landed in the last punch going out. He, when they go exchange, he's definitely winning. He's going forward more often. Yeah, but when you're walking into jabs like that, Jim, it doesn't really matter. He's walking right into a beautiful jab that's landing clean. Chosen volume as his antidote to the problem. He's trying to throw more punches than Alvarez and keep the pressure on. Smartest thing he can do. Now, now Kovalev is landing, I think, really for the first time in the fight. And I think he might have hurt Alvarez with a right-hand shot. Come on, come on. Alvarez comes back with determination. The keys to the fight. Can Alvarez get his respect? Can he take Kovalev's power? Kovalev's landing some huge shots, and Alvarez is taking them so far. And Let's shouting go. at Kovalev as he does. Kovalev, come on. Oh, good oh, shot by Kovalev. Oh. Good hook by Kovalev. Crowd is very excited here. This is good Boxing fight, returns to Atlantic City. Good fight, Jimmy. Exchanging. Oh, good hook by Kovalev. Sergey's having a big round with power punches. Good body shot. The crusher may be back. Hard left hook to the body by Kovalev. Oh, good body shot. Looking good. for another right hand upstairs as he continues to work the body against Alvarez. Look at him. It could be wants to get out of the round now. Oh, he lands a right hand. That's a good defensive fighter. And now he later got to throw a fighting ball. Light heavyweight division against one of his best opponents ever. Was a little bit shocked early on at how easily Alvarez could hit it. But then grab... I like to see Alvarez use that jab a little bit more like he was earlier. Good left hook again by Kovalev. Alvarez has managed to slow the pace down a little bit here in round number five. Kovalev... A lot of gas in round four. Good right by Kovalev. Yeah, and that's what... Increasingly, Kovalev trying to trap Alvarez in the... Oh, good like jab again. For the... Alvarez got a cut under his right, left eye. Good job, Just a tiny trickle of blood under the eye. The cut is the pro uh, product of a headbutt, not of a punch whether the commission is aware. Well, the good thing is that it's could go to have replay here, video replay, so that's a good thing. Let's go back and look. Exactly. In the second fight, no question, Ward, with his body shots, managed to get Kovalev to will. Well, Kovalev responsibly, and many people feel he won his oh, result. Oh, good body shot by Kovalev. I think he's winning them. Did you see that left jab? That was a hard left jab that landed on Alvarez. And he's landed shots like that to win the rounds. They're close, but Kovalev is winning them. Five weeks ago between Jaime Munguia and Liam Smith, in which Smith had the technical advantages, but ultimately, Jim, was both guys were capable, or capable in this fight, of knocking each other out. In that fight, I don't think Liam Smith really could have knocked. Uh, we were talking Ward Cole. Ward seemed to break Cole. Oh, there he goes. On a colossal right-hand shot. 
by a later out. That was a colossal punch. And here comes Alvarez. Uppercut lands with the right hand. Atlantic City, the crusher in big trouble. Oh, round number seven, down for a second time. Referee David Fields is known to do a dollar. He's going to let him continue. This is outrageous. This has to be a stop. Upset victory for a later Alvarez. Elena Storm.